At that size, if a human time traveled and fell into the Devonian Ocean, we'd basically be floating snag packs. Nice. The jaws of Dunkleistus didn't have teeth, not in the way we think of them. Instead, they had giant, razor-sharp bone plates. And when those bone blades slammed together, they delivered a bite force of up to 11,000 pounds per square inch. That's like a fully grown African elephant stepping on your fingertip. A biological guillotine. To put in perspective, that's twice the bite force of Megalodon. Five times stronger than a T-Rex. 20 times stronger than a great white. And 100 times stronger than a lion. A lion. But it wasn't just brute force. Dunkley Astuce had dense, reinforced jaw plates, engineered to withstand its own power, meaning it could crunch through bone shells and even the armored skulls of other Dunkley Astuce, like it was shopping bags. If one of these monsters locked onto you, you were basically deleted from existence. It also had a freaky trick up its sleeve. Dunkley Astuce opened its mouth using a four-bar linkage mechanism similar to what you find in a modern oil pump jack. That system let it snap, open its jaws in just 20 to 60 milliseconds. That's twice as fast as a blink. And that speed didn't just look cool. It created a vacuum of low pressure that literally sucked prey straight into its mouth. So yeah, just one dunkliestus made the Devonian seas hundreds of times more dangerous than anything in Jaws 1975.